Oh, oh my gosh. My boy squad, do you see that? Oh my gosh. Ah. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up my boy squad, how are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. We're here having breakfast at the hotel. And here's Lawrence. You guys have seen him in the past couple of vlogs. We have to say bye to Lawrence, guys. Yeah, um, so what's happening is we're both flying to Manila, but we're taking separate flights. And then after that, he's hanging out in Manila for a while, and RJ and I have to head back to the farm. But Lawrence, it's been a blast. It has. Have you enjoyed, well, Asia? Because we went to Singapore, our place in, in Cavite, and then and then here three, in Cebu. Three cities in a week. Yeah, <laughs> we're here in Cebu, guys. I just filmed a secret project. And guys, turns out we're coming back here in like a couple days. Like flying back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But That's Lawrence, the life, eh? Yeah. Lawrence, have a safe trip back to Seattle. And um, please come back soon. Yeah. Yes. See you later. Alright guys, so here at the lounge, I'm really happy we're flying home, it, it, even if it's gonna only be for two days, because originally we thought we would be here in Cebu for like three weeks. We are here in Cebu because um, we're filming for a secret project, which you guys will find out about next year when it comes out. Really excited. Um, but yeah, I just can't wait to be home with the dogs and oh, landscaping. The area around our new house in Cavite has been landscaped. I can't wait to see that. Um, new bed frames have arrived and a whole bunch of other stuff. So can't wait to be home guys with the dogs and the birds. Yay! Mabu High Squad, I met a new friend. She randomly came up to me. She's like, is this you? And she showed like a Google search of me. Hi, I attorney. Have to, yes, hi, hi, Mike. Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to do this. Yeah. I have to return the favor because I ambushed yeah. him She earlier. like interviewed me this whole like five minute interview she's gonna upload on her social media. I mean, she's very cool and she's par part of Rotary. I'm Lolita Ging Lomanta. Ging is my nickname, so uh, the people in Rotary call, call me Attorney Ging. Attorney Ging. And she's um, from Cebu and uh, you're heading to? I'm, I'm going to Ilo to do a training. They'll be training um, some of the judges there. Judges? On, yes, it's wow. on cybercrime. On cybercrime? Yes, we, we have oh. a law in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, and uh, it's a basic course actually to complement and supplement what the Supreme Court is doing to our judges all over the Philippines. I see. Awesome. So very important work. And guys, look, she's so pretty. Look oh, at her wow. hair. Thank you very much. Stylish. And yes. This, this guy is just so irresistible. You know, he's I... so funny on video, but if you see him in person, oh I, I tell you, he's, he's so cute and he's so sexy. And that's why I have to ask him if he works out and he does. Yes, and she does too. Yes, I do. To, just, just to keep myself healthy. I love it. And your hair, she's just so, so beautiful. Oh, thank you very nice much. Nice to meet Mike. you, attorney. Yes, Merry Christmas. And Merry I hope Christmas. to be able to bump into you again. Hopefully of course. not in the airport. Else. Yeah, we'll be we're friends up. now. Yes, we, we should be. Yes, we should. Thank you very much. Thank you. See Bye you guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Guys, hot. Welcome to Hey guys, we're home! Oh! Oh my gosh! My boy squad, do you see that? Oh my gosh! Ah. Okay, landscaping. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it looks so different! They're not done yet, but guys, look! OMG! Okay, so I think all of these need to be planted still, but wow! Look at the different plants! So cool! We have green lawn, frog grass, you guys saw this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, let's go over there. Wow. Look guys, landscaping currently in progress. Oh, I love the bromeliads they chose. Wow guys, our, our front garden has like plants. See that? 
Well, and I love these plants here. More bromeliads and boulders. Oh, it looks so neat. This just changes everything. Look at that, guys. More plants about to be planted. Oh, that looks so cool. So this apparently is gonna grow taller like that and kind of like hide our home. By the way, RJ hung these Christmas things at the front of our house. Wow, I love the landscaping. I love that we have bromeliads everywhere. Sweet, so good. It's all in progress, guys. I like it. Yeah, I do. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Archie's smiling. I love it so much too. So our landscaper is Ate Jun from JMB Landscaping Services. She is also the one who landscaped my our aviary, which we're going to check in a sec. I miss my birds. Oh, but it looks so good. Now here on this ground, there'll be stepping stones as well. So like people can step along here and admire the garden. That is so cool. Yay guys, progress. I love it. Now, when landscaping is done, I think that's when we can film an official like tour of our home because apparently we received more furniture so the bedrooms can get completed. Oh, I love the frog grass. So guys, this is frog grass, look at it. And what's cool about it is it grows outward and not upward, so we don't need to cut it. Like we don't need to mow the lawn or anything. So cool, I love it so much. Wow, look at all the plants. These plants are gorgeous. So cool. I love the different plants. They look so good. They still, they still have to plant it. Yeah, they still have to plant these plants, but so neat. Can't wait to see this all done. Ah, oh, home sweet home. So good to be back. I've missed this. All of you who are new, this is our home. Yay. Let's see the aviary. Oh, I see the blue napes. Hi guys. Did you miss me? Hi. These are the blue nape parrots. That's Clara, the shyest one. She ran to the back. And this I believe here is um, Gabriella. And this here is Marcelo. Where are the Conyers? Conyers. Oh, they're up there. I see them. Hi guys, did you miss me? This here of course is our aviary. Yes, where our birds live. Yay, our kitchen. Glad to be home. Where are the doggies? Hey, Sahara, did you miss us? Did you miss us? Oh, come here. Hey, Saif, did you miss us? Oh, I, hey, hey. I mean, what am I, chopped liver? Come here. Maybe if I was chopped liver, you guys would come to me. Come here. <laughs> you happy? We missed you. We missed you, Saif. This is Cypher. That's Sahara. Ah, uh, guys, there is no place like home. Oh, I've missed the bedroom. This is a, our master bedroom. And just even hearing the dogs barking in the hallway is like so calming. Oh, good to be back. So um, yeah, we'll be here I think for the next two days. Then we gotta fly back to Cebu for this secret project, guys. Um, but any time we can be at home, we're, we relish. We're gonna love it. Um, and again, yeah, so happy to be back home, at least for a little bit. Hi, Ate Jun. Hi, we're good back. afternoon. We Yes, we're back. We love what you've done to the yard. It's completely transformed now. It looks so good. Thank you. This is Ate Jun, the one who's landscaping. So guys, we're discussing improvements for Ligaya's path, which is this area here. We call it Ligaya's path because our African Grey who passed away during the pandemic, she was buried here, right by the banana trees because she loves bananas. So it looks like they've created a little trough where I guess these drainage tiles will be so that water can flow there and through pipes that continue down there and drain out to the side and to the back creek. Wow guys, apparently this here, <gasps> It's their doors and windows with like shells called kapis here in the Philippines. This is for our Bahay Kubo suite, which is the that structure way down there. Well, Bahay Kubo means traditional bamboo hut, but it can also mean just like a traditional like Filipino home, like a classic. And so uh, we drew our inspiration from Sonia's garden in Tagaytay, where Harj and I used to live when we moved out of our condo in Manila. They used a lot of this kind of stuff, so we wanted to decorate our Bahay Kubo way down there in a similar way. Oh, I just love the kapis. It's so Filipino. 
Oh wow, guys, they delivered even more boulders and more plants. Guys, this is a plant haven. Let's go out there and look. Wow, guys, I cannot get over how beautiful this looks. Look at all the boulders. I love the color. <gasps> They're so nice. It's like gray, but I don't know. It's kind of got a, a bluish hue to it. Look at all the plants. These are gorgeous. <gasps> More bromeliads. Bromeliads for life. You see that? Perfect. Gorgeous. Look at this spiky plant. Wow. Awesome. 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 See? More plants. See? Oh, I can't wait to see this all planted. Look at how beautiful the flowers are. So nice. Oh, I love the different colors, see? So, so beautiful. Love it so much. And I just love the way they've laid everything out. See? It's like a little, it's a little cute garden. Now, for those of you who are new, um, the peg we were going for in terms of landscaping around the home was um, like California, like LA. Because last time RJ and I were in LA a few months ago, we really liked the way they decorated the front gardens, like the, the lawns and stuff. A lot of spiky plants, a lot of boulders, very simple. And so we wanted to kind of emulate that, but in a more Filipino style, I guess. And look, it just really brings the entire lawn to life. Cool, right? I am so, so happy. And it's so cool to see plants along like the wall there. That's cool. Now, the only thing about bromeliads that you need to keep on top of is bromeliads are designed to have like a pit of water. Like see this little pot of water? It like gathers water in different spaces between the leaves. See that? And um, that offers a lot of like living area for a lot of creatures like frogs, etc. But the bad part is it happens to also be a breeding ground for mosquitoes. And here in the Philippines, mosquitoes are a problem because of dengue and things like that. So um, we really have to be diligent at going into each bromeliad and washing out that little pot of water every now and then so that like the mosquito larvae kind of fall to the ground and die but other than that bromeliads make great great um, garden plants they're also non-toxic they do tend to have some sharp or like serrated spines like especially this one um, but other than, than that they're non-toxic and my dogs kind of leave the bromeliads alone we used to have them in our rental home in Tagaytay Ooh, oh gosh so beautiful, the bromeliads. I love living in the tropics because we have some really cool plant life that can thrive outside. Gosh, I love it so much. The rocks really add a different aesthetic, guys. I do also hope that like the landscaping will attract more wildlife. <laughs> that might mean it might attract some snakes, but I don't think so because I know like snakes generally don't like people and they don't like dogs and other like animals that can hurt them. So my hope is the snakes stay away from this property with my dogs continually patrolling around, peeing everywhere. Um, that's my hope. Usually the snakes and, and like dangerous like serpents stay in the forest which is way back there but i mean there's no way to know until we like live here for a long time so far in the what several months that we've lived here i have never seen a snake um some of the workers while they were building the home said they've seen snakes around we do have um reticulated pythons on this property or like in this area and cobras it's kind of scary but i mean Good news is, uh, there are ways to deter them. There are certain plants that you can get to deter snakes. Rizal! Hi! Guys, Rizal ran out. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, let's go see. Rizal! Rizalzies! He has to pee. <laughs> he, he escaped. It's okay, he'll come back, he won't leave. Rizalzies! There we go, he's peeing. Here he comes! Rizalzies! Yes! Hi! I've missed you! Yes, 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 yes! Good boy, good boy! Guys, look at how big he is compared to Ate Elsie. Okay, inside Rizal. So we now have an official gate down there and a gate here. But somehow Rizal escaped! You escaped! Yes! Guys, he's getting big. Go Rizal! Pee! Go pee! Go pee! 
He loves all the space and he's gonna poo. Okay. In terms of my other dogs, the small ones we have to really supervise and watch because again, um, reticulated pythons, I don't want them to be eaten. Rizal loves the staff house. He goes straight to the staff house. And Brittany too, both of those dogs really love hanging out in the staff house because they've just been so used to hanging out there um, while we were working on the yard. Um, but they do sleep with us in the bedroom and then they're let out in uh, during the day. There's Brittany. Hey. Hi, Brittany. Hey, Brittany, did you miss me? This here is our Mexican hairless. Oh my gosh, they're playing now. Hi, Brittany, missed you. Both these dogs are gonna run around. Oh, you wanna go inside? Brittany, you wanna go inside? Inside? Okay, come. Daddy's inside, you wanna go see daddy? Go. Marcelo, do you want? There's a almond. There you go. There you go, Marcelo. Oh, hi there, Gabriella. I've missed you. No, I have no more. I have no more. Guys, the birds have missed me. As you can see, I'm being preened by Ruby. Hi, Rubes. How are ya? How have you been? My Buhai squad has missed you. Gabriella? Yeah. How have you been? Huh? How about you, Rubes? How have you been, Ruby? <laughs> Oops. These are the two birds that um, I guess are the most bonded to me. And they're bonded to their flock mates as well. But they, they're the ones who will actually warm up enough to land on me and greet me when I come. Okay, let's not destroy my t-shirt. Step up. Good bird. Wow, your beaks are so colorful. Look at how bright orange her beak is. So colorful. That is one healthy beak. They've been getting a lot of sun here in the, <laughs> here in the aviary. And it's, you could tell a lot by a bird's health, by their feather quality and their beak. Okay. And now they're just being like, they're just being birds. I've missed you guys. How have you been, hmm? How, okay, all right, don't fight. You can share me. You can share me. <laughs> no fighting. No need to fight over me, birdies. I, I. They're quite possessive. Okay, how about we take turns? Um, Gabriella, you. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Just like siblings, birds will fight, and like now they're now they're both off me. <laughs> but yeah, in case you're wondering, introducing these two species of birds was like a long gradual process and it required them to see each other in their cages separately and not come in contact for a long time who's this who's that oh this is scarlet hi scarlet you enjoying your food gosh such beautiful colors so gorgeous ruby is back and gabriella is back you birds have such gorgeous color oh and there's rojo hi rojo Nice to see you, Rojo. Have you missed me? Okay, how about, no, how about you come on my... All right. <laughs> oh, these birds, never a dull moment. Wanna rock, walk around with me, Gabriella? Are you preening me? Ah! Okay, that hurt. Guys, she's a Velcro bird. No matter how many times she flies away, she flies right back. Does this mean you've missed me? Yeah? Did you miss me? I've missed you. Mabuhai squad has missed you. Guys, she's looking at her at herself on my mobile. Okay, no, no, no biting the hand that holds you. No, no, no. This is not a good way to interact with humans. No, no biting. No. And the playing begins. <laughs> Look at them. You guys happy? What are we having for dinner? What are you eating? RJ stuffing his face with something. What did you eat? Hey, what did you eat? Banana. banana? You stuffed the whole banana in your mouth? Oh, you're giving it to the dogs. Healthy. I. Sahara does not like Br banana. Brittany, go. Brittany is totally food driven. She will do anything for food. Good girl. Good boy, Rizal. Awesome. Brittany wants some mangoes. Are those dried mangoes? Ooh. Great, great mangoes. Dried mangoes from Cebu. No. no, that's got sugar. Ooh, guys, we used our washer and dryer for the first time. And? It's natural. Uh, Eco-friendly. Yeah. Eco-friendly detergent. detergent. And 
dryer. Let's smell and fabric softener. Yeah, it's all right. All natural. Guys, here we use eco friendly products because our water here comes from a well. And so any like chemicals that seep into the water table, we end up drinking. And plus, hello, eco friendly. That's the only way to go. Mmm. Mmm. Smells good. And it's so clean. Guys, look at the dogs. <laughs> They're intrigued with the birds. <laughs> And the birds love it. The birds love the dogs. It's hilarious. Hey, Brittany, you're not allowed in there. <gasps> they can fit back here? That's dangerous. Well, not really. It's just a wall. They can't get squashed, but, but still. <laughs> it's funny how she goes back there. Guys, making dinner now. Adelsi is helping me. I am making steak. Yes, see that? Mmm. See that? Yummy. We put the oil second. Not bad. Where's RJ when you need him? But my food is very simple. I just like usually steam stuff. Sometimes I'll fry like now this steak. On low heat, I've got some onions. I want to put the whole onion in. Just remove the outer skin. Onions are super healthy, guys. Don't skip on the onions. Yes. Yes, and garlic, yes. You should really just <sighs> the garlic, but I wanna actually eat the garlic, so I don't wanna like cut it too much. Garlic super healthy for you, see? I actually should be putting this first. Am I forgetting my whole neck class? It will turn out delicious, guys. And with cooking, practice makes perfect, right? Wow, these knives. So these knives, right? RJ's knife set. Apparently the endorser is Gordon Ramsay. It's a high-end like German brand. It's called Wusthof. Wusthof. Guys, it cuts through things like butter. It's crazy. Doesn't that look delicious, guys? Oh, I think my steak is done. I think it's a little too much now. Let's see. <laughs> I think this is just about done now. The garlic and the onions can kind of cook, I suppose. I probably should have cut the onion up a little more. Can you tell them I don't know what I'm doing? Let's add some spices. Or was that supposed to be done beforehand? How about some chili pepper? Let's add some spice up in this joint. Yes. Oh, that's going to be spicy. All right. I, I think I'm good with this. This is okay now. Okay guys, time for the ultimate taste test. So I've got my black rice. Mmm, nutrient dense, healthy. Um, and the steak all chopped up and the onions, had to chop up the onions and cook it some more. But I think this is gonna taste quite good guys. Let's try. So let's try the steak. This was kind of a disaster. Did it in a weird order. Mmm, you know what? It tastes good, woo, and it's spicy, it's got kick. Eat it with some onions and a piece of garlic. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That goes together well, woo. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good with like the partially cooked onions and garlic. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Some San Pellegrino. Mmm. Yes. Mm, so delicious. OMG guys, ant room is under construction. Look, I see. They're adding the blinds. Yay. Hooking it up to our smart system. Awesome. This here's the ant room. Hi, Sives. There's the... Uh, gold play button that I turned into an ant farm and moved a colony in, but then eventually moved them out. Cool, right? YouTube play button. Okay, the workers are back installing. All windows will have blinds. Wow, it looks so different when it's closed. So cool. That's crazy. This entire ant room, by the way, will be smart. It'll all be running on AI. I can't wait for the ant room to be done because I want to do an official like ant room tour. 
I can't wait to do that. All right, I want to show you the guest bedrooms. This here is the Joseph room. Um, this is where Lawrence was sleeping. See? And just ignore the color palette we chose. It's actually a very nice bed. I really like it. Good quality. Um, it's a king size and quite large. Now guys, remember when we went bed hunting um, for our personal bed, me and RJ's like master bedroom bed, um, and we went to a bed store and we saw two beds that we absolutely loved. Well, look at this. This here is the green room. Now, although we couldn't fit it into our room due to like certain measurements, restraints, we got this bed. See, isn't that cool? It fits perfectly in this green room. Isn't that cute? Now I'm thinking of, first of all, that wallpaper. I'm thinking of just having all of this background not be white, just making it like a really a dark green. I'll see, or maybe possibly get an artist to paint in there, like a lion or something in the background. Not sure. But um, it this bed is so cute. We saw this in the store and I'm like, gosh, I love it. Look at it, it's like real tree trunk. See, polished and smooth. And it's got like a little ledge here. This part gets covered obviously with bedding, um, but it's so cute. And like once these curtains are open, wait, let's open the curtains. Allow the sunlight's energy and positive rays, positive vibes to come pouring in. It just casts a beautiful light onto there. I can't wait for our guests to stay here. It's such a cool, cool room. And like, I love this room because it's got a corner, corner view of the treetops. It's actually why we decided to call this the green room because it's li you're literally in the trees. We could put like a little seat stool or something where the guests can sit here. And I've seen lizards here, flying lizards here, birds of course. You can see the breeze blowing through the leaves of the trees. It's just a very, very calming, calming view from this room. And I love this room. In fact, I'm, I'm editing here. This is where I edit for now. But yeah, I love the bed that's here. I think it really suits the place. Once there's like bedding there and like pillows and stuff, I just think it'll be really, really pretty. It's also got these side like side tables that hang from the each side. It's really cute. Okay, and I'm gonna show you the other room. This here is the yellow room. Still need to decorate. And remember this bed? This really zen, beautiful bed. It was lower. We didn't get it because measurement wise, we felt like it really wouldn't fit. And it is kind of like a sort of lower bed. You can put stuff here. Um, we still need to decorate, but see, isn't that cute? We might move the bed from there to there, not sure. But again, once pillows and stuff are there, I think it'll look really, really cute. This is the yellow room because I, fe I felt like this was like a calm, warm, zen type room um, because the sunset comes streaming in and it just looks so pretty. It's just so, so nice. The best sunset view ever um, of all the guest rooms. And I think like right now we're kind of storing stuff here, but once it's all like fully furnished, I mean fully decorated with like a work desk here, possibly a television up here, um, maybe hang that up there or over there. We're not sure, but I just think this is such a cute guest room and I can't wait for our guests to enjoy the zen of the yellow room. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, all the guest rooms, except for the one downstairs, all our guest rooms are have colors, like they're, they're more colorful because I wanted um, our guests who might also be traveling from abroad to have a little bit of color. Like when you come from abroad, right? Like from US or Canada, everything is kind of like grayscale. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, all of you who've been to the Philippines and then flown back abroad, as soon as you step out of the airport, it's like the color palette changes. Everything's gray. There's like gray, gray, gray. It's not as vibrant as here in the Philippines where the sun is brighter. There's more vibrant colors. Like the sun lights things differently here in the Philippines. So I didn't want the whole house to be gray because as you can see, our entire home is like all about neutrals. We don't have bright popping colors except for the entertainment room. But yeah, our entertainment room and 
the guest bedrooms have some color because, you know, if you're traveling abroad to the Philippines, I wanted them to feel like they were in a tropical country here in the Philippines. So I wanted some color in the guest bedrooms. And then when they emerge, it's back to neutrals and like calming, calming colors, see? Everything's kind of gray. But certain accent pieces have color like this. This is our Kenneth Kobunpoi bloom chair. We wanted to add certain colors like red because um, well our entire home is pretty much gray black and white to mimic Ligaya our African gray right it's a good tribute to her um, and she had a red tail so we have like signature red in various parts of the home but you know this entire farmhouse guys is a work in progress <laughs> like this will take a long time to really develop and finally say that Okay, I think it's pretty much close to done. Um, RJ's working really hard, coordinating with the teams. Right now they're installing something, I think, for this door. Guys, we received a package from Paws on 5th, our friends at the pet supply store. Let's open it for Mikey and RJ. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, sweet. <gasps> what is this? Oh, cool, for the birds. Oh, they're gonna love this. See, put snacks in there. It attaches to the side of the cage. They could perch on it. Oh, thank you, Paws on Fifth. Ooh, what is this? Little jellies. Are these for the birds? Oh, I'm curious. Flower Power Berry Boost. Oh, for guinea pigs and rabbits who appreciate thoughtful plating and nice palate. But I guess the birds can also eat this. It, it, I think it's different flowers. Oh, sweet. Thank you so much. I could put this in their, in their mix. And then I see a bunch of stuff here. What's this? Oh my gosh, all this stuff is so cute, guys. Look, ornaments. <laughs> How cute. Oh, Gabriella. Oh my gosh, it's named after the birds. Gabriella, Marcelo, Clara. <laughs> Did we have a brownout? Guys, we had a brownout but our generator is gonna kick in any moment now. Oh my gosh, wow. Guys, thank God we installed a new generator. All right, here in the Philippines, like rolling, they're called brownouts, happen all the time. All right, oh wow. Scarlet, Ruby, and Rojo. Oh my gosh, pause on fifth, thank you so much. It's like Christmas ornaments, mm, named after the bird children. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, even the dogs, so cute. Sahara, Rizal, Brittany. Wow. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's like Christmas ornaments named after our children. Okay, yeah, wait. This okay. RJ says he's gonna hang on the tree. Yeah. RJ. <laughs> oh my, I love it. Come here, and Mikey. Oh, it's our whole family. Wait, there's more. Scarlet. Uh -huh. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. RJ's gonna hang them now. Oh, Paws on Fifth, that's so cute. So I guess Paws on Fifth does custom. This one says Mabuhay Squad. Love it. And look, I bet, I think these are handmade. RJ loves it. It fits our Christmas tree. Yay. Oh, Ate Elsie. <laughs> Where's Ate Elsie? So guys, Paws on Fifth is like pretty much international quality pet supplies. Um, for birds, rabbits, guinea pigs, all kinds of small pets. Oh, guys, Ligaya. Uh. Mm, rest in peace, Ligaisies. Guys, our African Grays, the whole reason RJ and I got this place. We felt like our African Gray needed more space to like fly around, because she was just limited to flying around our condo and the hallway of our condo. So we're like, let's get a property, let's buy a house so she could fly around. But we ended up building a house. <laughs> We took the harder route, guys. We felt this property was perfect for Ligaya, and that's she was supposed to live in that aviary. But sadly, she passed away. PDD, guys, it's a killer. For those of you who are planning on getting parrots, research PDD. It's more common than you guys think. It's like a digestive nervous disease. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Pazum Fifth. This is truly an awesome Christmas gift. Thank you. Mm. Ate Elsie, even you have one <laughs> from the Paws on Fifth. We're gonna put it sa Christmas tree. Lahat. <laughs> <laughs> it's all here. They're all here. 
Guys, RJ's not waiting. He wants to put it. Nah. Sahara, cute. It really matches the tree too. Rizal. <laughs> Adorbs. OMG guys, so I opened this Flower Power Berry Boost that Pause on Fifth gave. And it's basically the healthy teas. All in one, it's like flower blast. That is a lot of good micronutrients. So if you have rabbits, bunnies, mice, guinea pigs, that kind of thing, it's good. And if you have birds, I'm now going to mix about a tablespoon of this into the bird's morning chop. Love it. RJ's using the new gold um, ladder that we bought in Singapore. <laughs> Guys, we didn't realize how expensive it was. We just bought it. It's quite pricey. We checked the bill and we're like, uh oh. But um, yeah, we bought three of these. One is even bigger than that. But yay, I love that we have those ornaments now. Whose ornament do you have now? Uh, Ruby. Ruby. Guys, I want to put ciphers up. Our firstborn, <laughs> well, Ligaya was actually a firstborn. Where should I put ciphers? Right here, where everybody can see it. Oh, this is part of the magic of Christmas. Decorating the tree, customizing it to make it your own. There we go. Cute, right? There you go, Sife. RJ's there staring at the tree. So guys, um, big news. I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous vlog, but my parents are coming, guys. They're gonna land here in the Philippines uh, December 29th. So they're spending New Year's here. So we're trying to like rush things. Um, landscaping outside, um, even working on the Baje Kubo now, um, and just like getting the house together so, you know, my parents can enjoy. Um, and then later next year, um, in February and March, so many family members are coming from Canada. Cousins, aunts and uncles, my cousin's kids, my brother, his fiance, um, the fiance's kid, um, even the parents of the fiance, because I think my brother is planning to have like a Philippine wedding, like a destination wedding while here. So that should be fun. Um, and we're going to try to accommodate all these people. It might. It might be even like 20 people, 30 people, something crazy like that. So we got to find ways to like house people. And there's definitely enough space, guys, for people to sleep. Um, even if people are sleeping on couches, we get like folding beds and lay them out. The ant room itself, which currently is kind of vacant, people can sleep in the ant room if they want. It's not dirty. It's nothing like that. It doesn't smell. So yeah, the entertainment room, right? Yeah, this is gonna be a full house, which is everything I dreamed of, guys. Like when while building this place, I was like, I can't wait for family to stay here. We built this to host, and that dream is going to be coming true. Guys, I fastened the wooden perch slash bowl. I realized um, this is actually for the fruit cups, and but I wanna save those fruit cups. Um, instead, I've put um, goji berries in there. And look, it's already <laughs> generating some interest. Come, from uh, Gabriella here. I know this is Gabriella because of the yellow spot on her back. Here, see? She's looking at it. Here, I'm gonna put it right here, in there, for ya. Birds are very wary of like new decor, so she's just going to inspect it. And the other two birds are going to watch her. Um, I can put various seeds in there, and the birds have to work at getting at it. Like I don't even know if the large birds can reach to the bottom of that. They can chew on that perch, all of that. It's just really good. <laughs> Look at her, she's so intrigued. So beautiful. Oh, you guys, I love your colors. <gasps> So healthy. I'm pretty sure the conures would be able to get whatever's in that perch. Um, they'll discover it eventually. Right now, they're just happy being up there. <gasps> Come down. I've got something new. Oh my gosh, guys, they're talking. They're making new noises I've never heard before. Ate Elsie actually has been telling me that they've been really vocalizing. So um, these birds apparently can talk. See? Do you hear them? That's different. That's not what I'm used to. And these birds can talk too, the conures. Both birds still sound like birds though. They don't have, they can't mimic an actual voice. Unlike African greys, they still make bird sounds. Who is this? Hi Scarlet. 
I wonder what they're saying. Here, Scarlett, look. Look at what I have. See? <laughs> She's scared. Scarlett, look, if you like fish in here, you've got berries. Ruby's joining. Come. Berries. You want berries? I know these birds want berries. Come. Berries. They're very good. <laughs> I'll put them. Here come the birds. I'll put the berries in here. In here. In that hole. Go. I'll just put it right there and see if they can, they'll grab it. I won't put it inside the hole. Go, go, go. You can do it. It's safe. They're so cautious. They're like, what is that thing? I think Gabriella will be the first to explore it. You can do it. That's a Christmas gift from the paws on fifth. Guys, birds are wired to not trust. <laughs> They're just wired to not trust anything. They really inspect things and make sure everything is kosher before they proceed to like, you know, grab anything from something like this. But it does look like they are interested in the goji berries. Gabriella wants to. She's just unsure. She's gonna get closer to it, I think. Yeah. There you go. You can almost there. Almost there. Yes. You got it. Don't be scared. It's just wood. I mean, it's the stuff you chew on all the time. And up there, Clara is watching them. Go, go, go. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah, go. Can he fit his beak in there? I wonder. I mean, aren't you gonna grab the... There we go. Okay, he grabbed the bait. It shouldn't be bait. <laughs> he grabbed the berry. It's not like I'm trapping them. Go, go, go. Go, Gabriella. You could do it. There's more in there. Let's see her. Let's see if she can grab the ones inside. Oh, she loves the wood. A new thing to chew on. Yes. Go, grab a berry. Can they reach? Oh, this is good. If she can't reach to the bottom, if she can't reach those berries at the bottom, that's good because then she has to use her brain and like chew, chew the hole bigger until she could reach those berries. This is good. Go, go, go. Nope, she can't reach the berries. Cool. I'm gonna routinely introduce like random items into this aviary for them to destroy, check out, you know, hide random food items in so that they don't get bored. These birds are highly intelligent and they get bored easily. They need to be constantly stimulated. I think Gabriella's finally gonna try to go for the hole. There she goes. Yep, that's the idea. Make the hole bigger. Can she reach the berry? No, she can't. I think she's more interested in chewing this wooden like platform bowl. I mean, it's good because look, they've pretty much barbed most of the leaves from this tree, this poor tree, which we have to probably relocate outside. Um, and they've begun to snip from that fern, I believe. This fern up here, completely barbed. This money tree, completely barbed, poor money tree. Um, there are some trees that the birds left alone, like this here, this yucca, um, this rubber tree here, this ficus, like they've left this alone. They've completely ruined that dry sena. <laughs> they haven't touched any of these low-lying plants. So we really have to just, you know, experiment, I guess. Maybe add more rubber trees. The birds don't like chewing it. It releases this milky fluid that the birds don't like. Okay. Looks like it's popular. Try to get the berries. Go, go, go. Oh, go, go, go. He's trying. <sighs> Can't get it. Get it before the conures do. That's what I say. Awesome. Guys, they love this toy. Such a simple, simple toy. Gabriella, can you reach the berries? Go. She sees them. She just can't reach them. They're in there. Go, try. <laughs> Here comes Clara. She also wants to join. She's like, wait for me, guys. I want to try too. Clara's looking from the other side. Sweet. Go destroy, destroy my dragons. The Conyers are like, you birds are dumb. There's totally food everywhere. <laughs> They're busy feasting here in one of the food bowls. 
I do want to like eventually get rid at least of one of the cages maybe that one and have really cool feeding stations like made of wood like that maybe you know elevated obviously a water feature like a small waterfall this aviary is also a work in progress guys and one big trial and error experiment as you guys who've been following the building of this aviary no, this kind of hasn't been done before. Like, first of all, glass aviary. People are, were always like, that won't work. The birds will fly into the glass and die. Well, no, they haven't yet. I think the birds know that there's glass there. Thanks to the wall design, the glass designs with soap and the UV anti-bird collision like decals. But yeah, it was all a trial and error, guys. I knew they would destroy the plants, but um, what I wanted to see was what decor the birds would not touch. And obviously there are some plants in there that do work and I can always try other plants. Again, work in progress. All right, guys. So just gonna hang out now, chilling out, uh, gonna rest, gonna and try to enjoy these what, couple of days that we have here at home? Because like I said, there's no place like home, guys. I love being home. Um, how about you? I love traveling, I do, but there's just no place like home. Yeah, but you know, the traveling is definitely worth it. It's pretty much all for business. Like guys, trust me, if it wasn't worth it, I wouldn't be traveling. Um, we were recently in Singapore. Hope you guys saw those vlogs. That was for Creator World. Made a lot of great networking and contacts there for work. Um, and also uh, Cebu. Guys, like this Cebu trip, if you guys haven't seen the past couple of trips, um, last couple of vlogs, I mean. This Cebu trip for this secret project that we're filming is pretty major. I've done a lot of really awesome, awesome projects over the course of my entertainment career, my social media career, like opening for the Pussycat Dolls, Christina Aguilera, the various TV shows and TV commercials that I filmed here in the Philippines um, that I was part of, touring the world, performing. But guys, in a way, without revealing what this project is in Cebu that I'm filming for, in a way, I do feel like this is probably one of the coolest milestones and biggest, most major projects that I've ever done. It's something I've been wanting to get into for years. It's hard to share details without actually telling you exactly what it is. But yeah, um, I'm even personally going through training for it. Like I'm trying to better my skills for this secret project because honestly, I've been waiting years, even decades for an opportunity like this, this secret project that I'm filming for in Cebu. Um, but yeah, like it's definitely worth the travel and we'll be traveling back to Cebu, I think in a couple of days to stay there until the 22nd of this month. But um, can't wait for you guys to see what it is. Um, the team I'm working with is honestly a dream. It's a dream, guys. It's so awesome. But yeah, it's just constantly exciting projects, exciting new adventures, guys, up ahead, right? And it means so much to me that you guys out there, however you guys found this channel, you started off as complete strangers and now you guys tune in for these vlogs and you're joining me and RJ on this whole, whole journey of building a house, right? Traveling around the world for work and this secret project, which is kind of the beginning of a new, I guess, chapter for me. Not gonna say anymore, but guys, this vlog has gone on for so long now. Thank you so much for those of you who made it to the end of this vlog. Honestly, seriously, you guys are my family. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this vlog, please remember to hit that like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And I know you guys have been doing that because these vlogs have been doing better than they ever have um, in all the years that this channel has been around. Thank you so much for the support, guys. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai squad. It's completely free. When you subscribe, just make an account, that's it, and then subscribe. And then you get a notification every time one of our vlogs uploads. We would love for you to join our Mabuhai squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.